Hey there! Today, we are going to dive into the world of simple equations. Whether you love math or find it a bit tricky, we are here to make it fun and easy to understand. So, grab your pencils and let's get started. First up, let's talk about what is a variable. The word variable means something that can vary, that is, change. A variable takes on different numerical values, its value is not fixed. Variables are denoted usually by letters of the alphabets, such as X, Y, Z, L, M, N, P, etc. From variables, we form expressions. Now, let's use these variables and learn, what is an equation? An equation is a mathematical statement that contains an equality sign indicating that the expression on the left side, LHS, is equal to the expression on the right side, RHS. An equation remains the same when the expressions on the left and on the right are interchanged. Like in x plus 7 equal to 11, we have an equal to sign. Ok, now let's try a question. Solve the following equation. x plus 7 is equal to 11. Here, we can change the side of 7 from left hand side, LHS to RHS and change the sign from plus to minus and get 11 minus 7, which is 4. So, x is equal to 4. In this question, we used a method called transposing method. Transposing a number is changing the side of the number or a variable. In doing so, the sign of the number has to be changed. Now let's try another method to solve these equations called balancing method. In this method we add, subtract, multiply, or divide the same thing on both sides of the equation, and it will remain balanced. For example we want to find x in this equation so we want to remove 8 from the left hand side, so we subtract 8 from both sides. By doing so we get x is equals to 5. Similarly in the another equation, we divide both sides by 4 and we get x is equals to 7.5. Let's keep the fun going with one-step linear equations. These are just like the ones we did, but a bit different. If x plus 9 is equal to 15, and there's another one where 13 minus some number equals 7, plus a few more. Time to see if our answers match. For x plus 9 equal to 15, x is 6 because 15 minus 9 is 6. For the equation where 13 minus something equals 7, that something is 6. We have a few more solved here, like 5x equal to 30, which means x is 6. Did your answers match up? Now, we're stepping it up with two-step linear equations. These might sound a bit more complicated, but don't worry. Like this one, 2x plus 3 is equal to 22. We first find that 2x equals 19, then divide by 2 to get x is 8.5. We'll do the same for 3x minus 5 is equal to 19, and guess what? x is 8 again. See, not so hard after all. We've got more equations to solve. This time, let's tackle 2x plus 3 is equal to 13 and a few others. It's like being a math detective, finding clues and solving the mystery. Let's check our detective work. For 2x plus 3 is equal to 13, x is 5. And for 4x plus 4 is equal to 16, x turns out to be 3. We've got a few more solved here, like 3x minus 3 is equal to 9, which means x is 4. Great job solving these. We hope that you have understood the topic. You can now study chapter notes, watch video lectures, and solve MCQ tests of this chapter on Eduref to ensure you score well in your school exams. And that's not all, you also get amazing courses for maths, science, English, Hindi, and much more for class 7. Thank you.